Arab Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very serious situation is escalating uh, over the bombing of the Russian field hospital in eastern Aleppo. Moscow slams West for staying silent on Russia, Russian hospital bombing, according to RT News right here. Um, this, of course, this hospital here uh, killed a couple of the doctors there. It says the Russian foreign ministry has criticized Western leaders after none appeared to condemn the shelling of a mobile Russian hospital by militants in Syria. The ministry said that at least two Russian medics died uh, in this particular uh, explosion on December the 5th. A Russian medic died as a mortar shell fired by militants directly hit the reception ward of a Russian mobile military hospital set up in Aleppo. Now, it's very serious when I say this because uh, this is General uh, Kanashkinov, Igor Kanashkinov, right here on your screen here. And uh, I, I want you to see what he says uh, in, in response here. He says, since the start of the operation of the Ru Russian aerospaces, uh, representatives of the United States of America, Great Britain, and France have been telling us about tribulations of under-controlled moderate opposition. This applies particularly to the reporting of the situation in Aleppo. Uh, according to the Western officials, the number of terrorists among the insurgents active in the city has been decreasing, but the number of so-called opposition has been increasing in each and every week. The opposition, as they say, urgently requires humanitarian aid. Here comes the facts. Today, from 12.21 a.m., to 12.30 a.m. Uh, during the admi admissions of civilians, Mobile Hospital of the Russian Defense Ministry uh, in Aleppo has suffered artillery shelling, shelling by insurgents. Direct hit of the mortar shell against the admissions department of the hospital caused death of the Russian military female medic. Two medical workers have been heavily wounded, which they have died. Civilians have arrived at the hospital, have been wounded. Now all, 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 all Al-Nursa terrorists, as the Western counterparts say, have been encircled by the Syrian army in the southern area of eastern Aleppo. They are unable to carry out such precision strikes. There is no doubt, now watch what he says here, I'll pause it here for a second. There is no doubt that the attack was conducted by insurgents of the opposition. Okay? We consider from whom the terrorists have received the information and coordinates of the admissions department of the Russian hospital at the start of its operation. Therefore, the direct perpetrators are not the only who is responsible for the killing and injuring of our medical workers who had been providing assistance to the children of Aleppo, namely insurgents of the opposition, the blood of our soldiers is on the hands of the hire of the murderer. These people who created support, support and supported and armed these beasts in human form called them opposition to justify themselves towards their own conscience and view. Yes, the blood of our soldiers is on yours, ladies and gentlemen, patrons from the United States, Britain, France, and other countries and sympathizers, formations, hands. Okay? He's not playing games. He's not playing games at all. General Igor uh, Kanashkinov of the Russian uh, Army, General for the Russian Army there, uh, has made it quite clear, indicting the United States and Great Britain. Uh, let me get back here at the very end here. Uh, France and other countries and sympathizers and formations it's, from, it's on their hand. Their blood of their people is upon their hands. That is a very provocative statement there. And that could very easily escalate the situation that is going on. Now, here's something else that's, that's interesting. Ministry calls to stop Operation in Aleppo looks like an attempt to shelter the terrorists. That's because the Un United Nations, uh, there's already been a call... Russia and China did video the UNSC uh, SC resolution on Aleppo ceasefire. Uh, this was something that was done by China, New Zealand, and Spain. And of course, uh, 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 Egypt as well. I'm sorry. Uh, Egypt, Egypt, New Zealand, and Spain brought together this resolution for an immediate seven-day ceasefire inside of uh, Aleppo. 
Now, it's kind of ironic that they brought this out. And, of course, uh, I think Egypt is the one that's already spilled the beans on this, said that they were pressured majorly by Western partners there to bring about this resolution of, uh, to, to, to cause a ceasefire. I think that the United States, France, Britain are looking to buy time, and they may be even preparing a counteroffensive in the very, very near future. Saudi Arabia is not willing to lose the money that they have spent on arming and, and, and working with uh, Turkey, the United States, and their coalition there They're, to topple Bashar al-Assad. They're not just going to go away silently. This is not just going to be something that's going to be swept under the rug. Even Belgium is calling on donating and giving money to Syrian government and leaving Assad in power there if he would allow the, the resistant fighters there to have their own territory that they would govern inside of Syria. Um, they're grasping for straws big time. I realize now Russia, though, they've had a couple of blunders with uh, their uh, uh, um, aircraft carrier there in the Mediterranean. They've already lost two fighter jets because of issues there, almost seeming like fumbling the football, so to speak. Not very, not very good at what they're doing out there. But nonetheless, Russia is getting at, at, at a breaking point, it looks like. And, you know, President Putin said not long ago, uh, when it came to all the saber rattling that is happening on his doorsteps there of, of Moscow and St. Petersburg with the NATO drills going on in Eastern Europe and Estonia, etc. And I got a report from a brother in an email there saying that in his country in Norway, major drills are going on up on the border of Russia uh, at the very northern end. There's a lot of crazy things happening. A lot of intentional provocation to Russia. It's almost as if NATO is not going to accept anything else but a war. And now we see General Konashkinov here is stating that they know that America, Britain, and France, and the other sympathizers of these groups here have, were, the, were the ones that hold the blood on their hands of their medical personnel for dying in this shelling. Russia doesn't take the death of their people very lightly, I can tell you that now. I, I don't know which way it's going to go. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see, but it doesn't look good. Uh, according to Sputnik, Eastern Aleppo militants sending signals, they are ready to surrender. As you can see them coming out of different places here in the report here, that they are ready to surrender. This is something that the U.S. coalition can't afford. They have spent millions and millions of dollars to topple Bashar al-Assad. It would be the greatest embarrassment to the United States that there has ever been, uh, or the Obama administration. I don't like to blame the U.S. for the blunders of the Obama administration by no means. Um, but very serious situation going on, and uh, friends, just pray for the people there. Pray for uh, Russia. Pray for the Syrians. Pray for the Americans and all the people that are involved, because so many of these people that are innocent uh, people like Britons and Americans, they're not the government that makes the stupid decisions that these countries are making. And I just pray we don't end up in an all out war before uh, the power in America changes hands. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.